It's the year 1973, and the first ever mobile phone call is being made. An era of technological revolution was dawning, one which would change the face of communication forever. This was the moment when the world was introduced to the concept of mobile communication, and it all started with a man named Martin Cooper. Cooper, an engineer at Motorola, had a vision. He wanted to create a device that would allow people to communicate on the go. He wanted to untether communication from the constraints of landlines, and so he did. On April 3, 1973, Cooper made the first mobile phone call, marking the beginning of a new age. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This first mobile phone, known as the Dynatac, was a far cry from the sleek pocket-sized devices we're familiar with today. Picture a brick, then add a foot-long antenna. It weighed in at a hefty 2.2 pounds and measured about 10 inches in length. The Dynatac was not just heavy in weight, but also on the pocket. It cost a staggering $3,999, which is around $22,000 today, adjusting for inflation. And what did you get for this princely sum? A phone that took 10 hours to charge for a conversation time of just 30 minutes. But despite its limitations, the Dynatac was revolutionary. It was a symbol of freedom, of mobility. It represented a world where you could talk to anyone, anywhere, without being tied to a physical location. And while it may have been more of a status symbol than a practical device, it was the first step on a journey that would lead to the ubiquity of mobile phones in our lives today. So, the journey of mobile phones began, from a bulky device to the sleek ones we know today. And as we move forward, we'll see how this technology evolved, from bricks to flip phones, from smartphones to whatever comes next. But for now, let's stay in the past and appreciate the humble beginnings of the mobile phone. Fast forward to the 1980s known as the era of brick phones. This period was an exciting time in the evolution of mobile phones, as it marked the transition from bulky car phones to portable handheld devices. These first-generation mobile phones were often referred to as brick phones due to their size, weight, and shape, which were reminiscent of a construction brick. The brick phones were a symbol of status and wealth, as they were expensive and not everyone could afford them. They were the must-have gadget of the era, and owning one was a clear sign of success. It was during this time that we saw the introduction of iconic models such as the Motorola Dynatac 8000X and the Nokia Cityman. The Motorola Dynatac 8000X, released in 1983, was the first truly mobile phone. It was a breakthrough in technology, but it came with a hefty price tag of nearly $4,000. This phone was over a foot long, weighed almost two pounds, and offered a mere half an hour of talk time. But in spite of these limitations, it was a big hit and a game changer in mobile communication. On the other hand, the Nokia Cityman, launched in 1987, was slightly smaller and lighter than the Dynatac 8000X. It was also less expensive, making it more accessible to a larger crowd. The city man gained popularity after an iconic photo of the then Soviet Union leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, using one to make a call. However, the brick phones era was not without its drawbacks. These phones were heavy, bulky, and had short battery lives. They lacked the features and functionalities we take for granted today, such as texting and internet access. The focus was primarily on voice communication, and even that was limited by poor network coverage and dropped calls. Yet despite their limitations, these brick phones paved the way for the mobile revolution that was to come. They were the stepping stones that led us to the advanced smartphones we have today. While they were a status symbol, their size and weight were far from practical. The 1990s brought us the reign of Nokia and the birth of SMS. From the vast, sprawling wilderness of mobile technology, a Finnish giant emerged in the 1990s, capturing the hearts of millions around the world. This was Nokia a name that became synonymous with reliability, durability, and a simple yet effective user interface. It was no longer just a phone, it had become a symbol of a new technological era. Among the Nokia models, one stood out, the Nokia 3310. This model was akin to a rock star, earning its fame for being virtually indestructible. Its simple design, long battery life, and the addictive game Snake made it a cultural icon. It was a phone that defined the decade, and even today, it's remembered with a sense of nostalgia. But the 90s was not just about Nokia, it also saw the birth of a new form of communication. The short message service, better known as SMS, was introduced. This was a game changer. 
It allowed people to send short text messages to one another, revolutionizing the way we communicated. No longer did you need to make a call for every little thing. Now, a simple text could do the job. The impact of SMS was profound. It was quick, it was convenient, and it was affordable. It transcended borders, age groups, and social classes. It even gave rise to a new language, the language of abbreviations and emoticons. The introduction of SMS also marked the beginning of a shift in our social behavior. It enabled us to maintain connections without the need for real-time engagement. Suddenly, we were able to be in touch with our friends and family, irrespective of time and place. The success of Nokia and the rise of SMS were two sides of the same coin. They complemented each other perfectly, creating a synergy that propelled mobile technology into the new millennium. The 90s ended with mobile phones becoming more compact and SMS becoming the new norm of text communication. And thus, the stage was set for the next big leap in mobile technology. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's just appreciate the simplicity and elegance of the Nokia era and the revolutionary introduction of SMS. The new millennium ushered in an era that revolutionized mobile technology, the era of smartphones. With the turn of the 21st century, mobile phones started to become more than just a means of communication. They were evolving into multi-purpose devices that could handle a variety of tasks. The introduction of smartphones, specifically the BlackBerry and the iPhone, marked a significant shift in the landscape of mobile technology. BlackBerry, initially popular among business professionals for its advanced email capabilities, was the first to give us a glimpse of the potential of smartphones. Its full, QWERTY keyboard, coupled with its secure and efficient email system, made it the go-to device for corporations and governments around the world. BlackBerry Messenger, or BBM, was a pioneering instant messaging app that gave users a new way to stay connected, setting the stage for future social media apps. Then, in 2007, the game changed completely. Apple introduced the iPhone, a device that was leaps and bounds ahead of anything else on the market. With its sleek design, innovative touchscreen interface, and the introduction of the App Store, the iPhone transformed the way we use mobile phones. It was no longer just a tool for calling and texting. It became a device for browsing the internet, listening to music, watching videos, playing games, and so much more. The iPhone's App Store was a game changer. It opened up a whole new world of possibilities by allowing third-party developers to create apps for the iPhone. This meant that the functionality of the iPhone was no longer limited to what Apple could provide. Instead, it was now limited only by the imagination of developers around the world. The smartphone era marked the beginning of mobile phones being more than just communication devices. They became extensions of ourselves, capable of assisting us in almost every aspect of our daily lives. From checking emails and updating social media, to navigating unfamiliar cities and even controlling our home appliances, smartphones have truly revolutionized the way we live. In 2008, a new player entered the game, forever changing the smartphone landscape Android. This wasn't just another smartphone platform, it was a revolution. Google's Android brought to the table a unique selling point that would turn the tide in the smartphone market. It was open source. Being open source meant that Android was like a canvas, waiting to be painted on. It gave manufacturers, developers, and even users the freedom to customize, tweak, and create. This was a stark contrast to Apple's iOS, which was and still is a walled garden, beautiful but limited in its flexibility. Suddenly, manufacturers had an alternative to iOS, a platform they could use and modify to their liking. And the first to seize this opportunity was HTC with their Dream smartphone. The HTC Dream, or the T-Mobile G1 as it was known in the United States, was the first commercially available smartphone running Android. It was quirky, with a slide-out keyboard and trackball, but it was the harbinger of the Android invasion. The Android platform offered something unique to every user. For tech enthusiasts, it was a playground, a place to tinker and experiment. For the average user, it was a more customizable, more personal smartphone experience. And for manufacturers, it was a chance to break away from the pack, to offer their customers something different. Android's flexibility also meant that it could cater to a wider range of price points, from budget to premium, making smartphones accessible to a broader audience. This was a game changer, democratizing access to advanced technology and the internet in a way that had never been done before. And just like that, the smartphone market was no longer a one-horse race. The Android invasion had begun, bringing with it a wave of innovation, competition, and choice. 
we saw a surge in manufacturers, each trying to outdo the other, each bringing their unique flavor to the Android platform. With Android, the smartphone market was no longer a one-horse race. The stage was set for one of the biggest tech rivalries in history, Android versus iOS. As if plucked straight from a Shakespearean play, two giants emerged on the mobile stage, each with their unique strengths and weaknesses. On one side, we had Android, the open-source champion, a beacon of customization and variety. On the other, we had iOS, the epitome of simplicity and elegance, offering a seamless and fluid user experience. The rivalry between Android and iOS is more than just a battle of features, it's a clash of philosophies. Android, backed by Google, offers its users a buffet of choices. With countless manufacturers and models, each with their own unique twists, Android caters to a wide range of tastes and budgets. Its open-source nature allows for a level of customization and flexibility that its counterpart simply can't match. However, this variety also has its drawbacks. With so many variations in hardware and software, fragmentation becomes a significant challenge. Ensuring apps and services run smoothly across all devices can be a Herculean task. On the flip side, we have iOS, Apple's pride and joy. With a limited number of models and a tightly controlled ecosystem, iOS offers a consistent, polished experience across all its devices. It prides itself on its user-friendly design and top-notch security, with updates rolling out simultaneously to all devices. Yet, this controlled environment comes at a cost. The lack of customization and higher price points can be a turnoff for some users. Plus, moving outside the Apple ecosystem can be a challenging endeavor. In terms of market share, Android clearly leads the pack, thanks to its wide reach, but iOS holds its ground, especially in regions like North America and Western Europe. This battle of titans has had a significant impact on the mobile industry. Their competition has fueled innovation, pushing boundaries in design, functionality, and user experience. Both have their loyal fan bases and both continue to evolve, each iteration seeking to outdo the other. This rivalry continues to push mobile technology to new heights. As we journey into the future, the question remains, what's next for mobile phones? In the realm of mobile technology, change is the only constant. The phone in your pocket right now, as advanced as it may seem, will probably look primitive compared to the devices of tomorrow. So let's take a moment to ponder over potential trends that could redefine the future of mobile technology. First up, foldable phones. They're not just a throwback to flip phones, but they're the future. Imagine a device that fits snugly into your pocket, but when you need a larger screen for work or entertainment, it simply unfolds into a tablet. The technology is already here, but it's still in its infancy. We can expect to see more refined and affordable foldable phones in the coming years. Next, let's talk about artificial intelligence. AI is already making our phones smarter, helping us take better photos, and even predicting what we're about to type. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. In the future, we might see AI become more integrated into our devices, understanding our habits, anticipating our needs, and providing personalized experiences like never before. Then there's the advent of 5G technology. 5G isn't just about faster internet speeds. It's about creating a more connected world where everything from self-driving cars to smart homes can communicate seamlessly. And our phones will be at the heart of this interconnected ecosystem. Lastly, let's not forget about augmented and virtual reality. AR and VR have the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. With AR glasses and VR headsets already on the market, it's not too far-fetched to imagine these capabilities being integrated into our phones. While we can't predict the future with certainty, one thing is clear. Mobile phones will continue to shape our lives in ways we can't even imagine, and as we continue to push the boundaries of innovation, the possibilities are truly limitless. So here's to the future, a future where our phones are not just smart, but also truly magical.